and back ignition. Stage one boost back startup. And there you go. You just heard and saw main engine cutoff, stage separation, stage one flip, and second engine start one. Now we are in the middle of the boost back burn, which you can see on the left side of your screen there. That first stage has flipped around and is burning three of its Merlin 1D engines to head back towards the launch site, while the MBAC on the right is pushing the second stage into low Earth orbit. Now today's mission is what we call a RTLS, or return to launch site. And that's actually where we return the first stage back to a landing pad that is actually very close to where we took off from. Now this burn should last about 50 seconds, so we have about 10 seconds left in the boost back burn. Both stages continue to look nominal. Stage one boost back shutdown. And there we go, just had confirmation of successful boost back burn shutdown. Coming up next in just a few seconds, we will separate those fairing halves and should get a good view of our payload. Fairing separation confirmed. There we go, just had successful confirmation of boost back burn end and the successful separation of both the fairing halves from the second stage. Now both of these halves on today's mission are flying for the sixth time and we will be attempting to retrieve them again today once they fall back to Earth using our recovery vessel, Bob. We're just about at T plus a little over four minutes into today's mission, and we are in the first of two planned MVAC burns before satellite deployment. Now at T plus six minutes and 10 seconds, so a couple minutes from now, you should see on your screen the first stages entry. Both vehicles entry. are following nominal trajectories. We hope that both vehicles are on nominal trajectories. Great views from the first and second stages there. Now for the entry burn of the first stage, we do relight three of the M1D engines on the first stage, starting with the center E9 engine, followed shortly by the E1 and E5 engines, which are all in a row. And this slows the vehicle down as it passes into the Earth's atmosphere. Now we do the entry burn in order to slow down to reduce re-entry re forces, which helps us to recover and reuse our first stage. During that entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating, firing those three Merlin entry Merlin engines, but we're still moving really rapidly, so the vehicle will actually fly through its own plume and deposit some of that carbon-based fuel soot that Falcon 9 uses onto the booster. And great views of those grid fins on the first stage. And the Falcon 9 first stage that is supporting today's mission will perform this entry burn for the 13th time, having previously supported multiple missions, including GPS vehicles 4 and 5, Inspiration 4, Axiom 1, Nalsat 301, and seven separate Starlink missions. Entry burn starting here shortly. Stage 1 entry burn startup. There is the start of the entry burn. Stage one entry burn shut down. Good entry burn from the first stage. Stage one FTS is saved. The flight termination system is saved for stage one. You can see those attitude control thrusters on the first stage firing there. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. Both first and second stages are looking good. And our next milestone is the stage one landing bird, which is coming all the way back to landing zone one in Cape Canaveral, starting in about 15 seconds here. Stage one transonic. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one landing burn. Start of our stage one landing burn. That's 
great drone footage of the first stage that you can see on the right-hand side of your screen. Incredible views from first stage coming down on Stage one, land and let deploy. That was a beautiful landing. Stage one, land and let deploy.